Oh, no, no, girl. What are you doing there? What time is it? It's gone eight. Why didn't you go to bed? I fell asleep. Oh, let's oh. get some air in here. Oh. That's better. <coughs> uh, I'll put the kettle on, right? Oh. Oh, dear. Hey, have I told you? I would tell you he's moving in without Maria. Oh, she's a nice girl. Yeah. I tell you, I hope they have a lot of fun together. I certainly intend to, now I've got that flat to myself. <laughs> I thought I might go blonde. Platinum. Oh, I like your hair the way it is. <laughs> Thanks. You know what they said, though, Ella? Blondes have a lot more fun. I did go platinum once. 94. And did you have more fun then? Not really, no. <laughs> we'll come round to mine tonight, Aid. My lot are all out, just be me and Bethany. Oh, I can't this afternoon. Now, I've got double English, I don't miss it. Well, I'll see you in form then, won't I? <laughs> I really do not feel like this today. <laughs> when do you ever feel like it, Karen? What's that meant to mean? Just, you never seem to be happy when you're here. Happy? It's not like one of them magazines, let's all be happy in our work. I'm not going to be happy, am I? Because it's work, innit? I'm happy at work. Are you, love? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll be happy when we're all inside and I can hear the buzz of them sewing machines. After you, love. It's only me. What are you doing here? I forgot my cravat. Actually, that's not true. It's in my locker at work. I just wanted to say I'm sorry for rushing off last night. It's all right. What a terrible night. Maggie's little girl's teeth and you can't imagine what the noise is like. She kept waking Ben up and he was in with me and he kept kicking me. Where is he? Maggie's looking after him. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, Norman, but I meant what I said last night. I can't have him here with those rats on the loose. Yeah, I know that, darling. But... Oh, my toast. 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 Look at the time. Mrs. Baines will be stood outside waiting for a pension as wash and blow. Can't when your girls up, no? Well, one's just had a baby and the other used to work in a boarding kennel. Oh. Now, here's my spare keys, lover. And don't bother about the alarm, because I only put that on at night when I'm on my own. Thanks. I don't think I'll be popping out. Shall I get us something for our tea? Oh, I've got some salad in the fridge. Salad? Mm. I was thinking more fish and chips. Uh, yeah, well, look, I'll worry about that when I get back. And, oh, sh Mrs. Bain should be rattling that door knob. Hey, Audrey, I'm sorry for stopping so long in the bathroom. Oh, you're all right. It's just that I'm not used to visitors, you know. Oh, how long did you say you'd be stopping? Oh, not long, love. Week. Two weeks, top. Two weeks? Oh, well, you got something nice planned. Just a bit of business in Manchester, you know. What sort of business? Well, there's a club I've got my eye on. <gasps> Just a bit of business. Hey, it's like old times, this, isn't it? I've not shared since corner shop flat with Irma Barlow. Did you know Irma? Was she one of Ken's wives? No. At least I don't think she was. Oh. No, I've got to go. I'll see you later. <laughs> you certainly will, boo-boo. Oh, you... <laughs> We've got to be united on this. Yeah. I mean it. Yeah. I've just said, yeah. We've no cleaner, no landlady, a cellar man with a dodgy art, and now Betty's got no one to do the grub. It's just you, me, and a landlord who's more suited running a three-ring circus. Well, I'm nobody's clown. So what should we do? We do what all women do when they're not happy. You mean we nag him? Got it in one. Yeah. Mr. Battersby? Yeah? Yeah, Kath Harris, Environmental Services, Pest Control. Oh, yeah. I'm here about your rodent infestation. I'm not infested. Yes, you are. She was talking to me. Go round the back. His backyard's full of rubbish. It's the same inside. Go and have a look for yourself, filthy vermin. Do you mind? I meant the rats. Mind you, now I come to think of it. I keep telling you, I have not got any rats. Well, maybe now you're here, we'll get to see some action. Well, What's right. going on there, then? Good. Some Kill sort of all. argument. Oh, there speaks the copper. I'm surprised you've not got your riot gear on and stormed my house. Oh, I'd need more than riot gear to go into your house. Can you smell that? 
I've got a baby. I've had to move him out to a friend's because of his smell and his rats. I do not smell. What's going on? This woman's from pest control. Environmental health. I have not got rats. Rats? Ooh. Oh, you should see them in the backyard. I know you don't own your house, Les, but you could at least take a bit of pride in where you live. Hey. There's no need to talk to him like that. There's every need. I've got a baby to think of. And what? Complain then, have you? Got the rat catcher. Environmental health. The backyard's a tip. It's not easy, you know. A bloke on his own. Oh, well, that's down to you, isn't it? You're the one who walked out on him. Emma. Hey! I am not taking that from you, lady, whether you're in your uniform or not. What's the point? I'm going to work. Ah, oh, go on then. Run away. She's upset. Right. I'd best get started. I'll have a look round inside first. You can brew up. White. Three sugars. I don't smell. Do I? Well, uh, well, like I said, it's, uh, it's no problem. OK. Bye, then. I don't believe it. What? What's to do? That were Ian Richardson wondering why I hadn't called him back from the other day. Well, did you not call him? I told you to. Yeah, and I forgot. Damn. What? He's doubled the order. Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? He wants it all in by Monday dinner time. That's twice as much in the same time, Hayley. Well, we can't do it. You, you did tell him we couldn't do it. No, I didn't. This is a factory. You don't say no to the customer, you say yes. In any case, why the hell didn't you remind me to call him back? We could have had an extra two days. Well, I thought you had formed him. Just get back out there and start sewing, will you? Oh, great. Mike comes back on Monday. That is great. Just great. Bicycle oh, thank you. clips. Thank you. What? Bicycle clips. Where are they? We, we had two pairs in the May stock take. I saw... Here they are. Are you going to ask him or shall I? There's Battersby's got rats. Pest control vans outside. They're pumping chemicals everywhere. Those rats will be jumping about. I'm not taking any chances. Oi, 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 are you forgetting something? What? £2.50 bicycle clips. I'll bring it in later. I'm still on my break. Oh. <laughs> well, did you enjoy it last night? Betty's party. Well, I think we give her a good send-off. It's interesting to see Bet again. Interesting. Yes. Hi. Hello. Oh, what a morning I'm having. Oh, indulge yourself too much last night? What? Well, I didn't think I had till I woke up and found Bet Gilbert asleep on my sofa. Oh, no, of course. Bet Lynch now, isn't it? On your sofa? Yeah, apparently. I insisted she stayed with me, not a hotel. Oh, well, that was kind of you. Uh, Emily, no. Foolish, more like. Uh, she says she's stopping two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. My sitting room already smells like a working men's club. After two weeks, it'll have yellow ceilings. Well, I thought she was just here to see Betty. Uh, apparently not, no. Uh, she's got some business in Manchester. Well, what sort of business? I mean, the last I heard, she was living down south. Well, it's something to do with the club. I mean, that is all I know. Ooh, probably be seeing more of her then. Oh. Rita? Well, it was bad enough last night trying to make small talk, but I thought I wouldn't be seeing her again. When she left, you weren't on very good terms, were you? We were not. Oh, come on. Well, don't worry about it. Just keep your head down. She'll be gone soon enough. Oh, I'm afraid I can't do that, Audrey. I've never been one to dodge an issue. What's she doing today? Uh, sitting on my sofa with her feet up watching TV, I suppose. Right. Well, I'll call round later, after I've closed this place up. Would you like me to keep out the way? Well, if you wouldn't mind. I don't think it's going to be that pleasurable a visit. Hey, get a move on, will you? All right, well, I'll rush out of it. No need to push. I want to nip and see light. I'm a bit see shaken you. earlier. Are you uh, going to go to the Rovers later? Well, if it's a choice between looking at you or the wallpaper in my flat, then, yeah, I suppose I probably will. Oh. I, uh, I wanted to apologise. Yeah. Yeah, I was out of order. I'm sorry. So, uh, are we still mates, then? Go on, then. <laughs> I'm glad you said something. I hate atmospheres. Yeah, so do I. Although some people around here are keen to create them. Karen, she'll soon settle down, take the notice. 
Uh, and don't worry about that order. I'll make sure there's no slacking. Thanks. Just doing my job. <laughs> I'm really glad you've come. I said I would, didn't I? Has your mum gone? Yeah, they've all gone. Good. So, what do you want to do? I bought a video. Series 7, The Contenders. Have you seen it? No. It'll blow you away. Cool. So, do you want a drink? Have you got any orange juice? Yeah, but Richard's got some beers in the fridge. Don't think he'd notice if you had one. Don't touch the stuff. My dad drinks it. I'm more of a spirits man. Ooh, vodka. I'll get some glasses. And the orange juice. Where's what's her name? Bethany. She's asleep. Then let the good times commence. Right, I'm coming. Keep your flaming hair on. Rita, Audrey's not in. No, I know. Actually, I've come to see you. Well, you best come in then. We're nearly out of tonics. Shelley, will you live down to a cellar and... And, uh, lad in my tights on a barrel like last time, or get cobwebs in my hair like the time before. Eh? Fred, do I look like a burnt me bra? What are you going on about? I'm a great believer in there being men's work and being women's work. Now, cellars are for men. I only asked you to get some tonics. Yeah, and this morning you asked me to make sandwiches and clean the windows. Look, we don't mind helping out a bit, because we know you're in a hole, but we want you to promise us that you'll get these vacancies sorted. This place is too busy for just the two of us. I'm here, aren't I? Fred, do you know how to make a Bloody Mary? And how much lemonade do you put in a lager top? Now, we've been thinking, and we reckon we can run the place between us. No danger. But you do need to sort the catering out, and we need a pair of hands behind these pumps. Actually, and while you're advertising, find us a fit young bloke that's sell a work. One with a nice bum. Yeah, and a nice smile. Mm. Good! So, that's sorted. I tell you what, just this once I'll go and get them tonics. Oh, silly me. There's some here, shall I? I must have not seen them. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Arthur. You've been dead rotten. You knew I wanted Bobby's old boo. Oh, well, you can't have it. That's why he's moving in, isn't she? It's not fair. I ain't living at home. Mum started doing line dancing again. Has she? I can't stand the music. She's got a tape of this fella going on and on. It's do si -do this and do -si -do that. <laughs> well, just move out, get a flat somewhere. I don't want to live on my own. Yeah, but then you'd only have to get on with yourself then, wouldn't you? Well, I suppose I don't get on with myself. There you go, Mum. All right, thanks a lot. Uh, can I join you? Oh, oh certainly. Has Rita gone to mine? Uh, yes. How was she? Uh, purposeful. My mother used to have the same look in her eye when she took shoddy clothing back to the shops. Oh, dear. I hope they make it up. I'm sure Rita will offer Bet the olive branch. Mm. Let's just hope Bet doesn't break it in half, shall we? We didn't get much chance to speak last night. That's because we were avoiding each other. Silly, really. We were friends a long time. We were, yes. Well, I'm glad you're not pretending we still are. No. You kicked me in the teeth when I needed you most. We're not friends. That's not fair. Ain't it? No, it isn't. And you know it isn't. I didn't say anything last night because it was a party. Anyway, I thought you were just passing through. Oh, I am. Not stopping round here. Audrey said you stay in a fortnight. Yeah, that's about right. As soon as I can, I'm off. Well, I didn't want to feel I had to avoid you. So, you're divorced now? Yeah. Alex probably shacked up with some desperate old hoofer now. Or a singer. Actually, Alec and I were quite... Yes, he told me. Said he was going through a nostalgic period. So it was either you or a woman who had a performing sea lion act. Turns out you got number one billing. We're still good friends. Lucky you. We're still good enemies. You're very bitter, aren't you? Ha! I've got good cause. I thought me and Alec were going to stand shoulder to shoulder for the rest of our naturals. But then again, I thought you and me were best mates. Turned out I was wrong on both counts. Oh, so that's it. 
I refuse to spend my savings buying you a pub. Us a pub. A partnership, remember? And not just any old pub. The Rovers. You knew how much that place meant to me. It was a lot of money. I wasn't sure we'd make a success of it. I would have done. I'd have made it pay. Is that what you've been doing these last seven years? Running a pub? Running a couple? Made a success of them and all. That's not a marble. Good. I'm pleased for you. Are you? Yeah, of course I am. I'm glad everything's going all right for you. You deserve it. Are you being funny? No. I mean it. You've been through a lot in your life, and now you're comfortable. Happy? Always smiling. Good. I'm glad. Next time I'll bring Blow, Johnny Depp. Wow. Oh, I liked him in um, Sleepy Hollow. Oh, yeah. Cool air. I had mine jet black after that for ages. I remember. Hey, who's this? <laughs> Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> Correct. Do you know what we should do? What? We should pierce your eyebrow. Really? Oh, yeah. You look neoclassical. It would so go with your eyes. Your eyes are your best feature. You have to decorate them. Is that why you had yours pierced? It's more of a statement. So how about it? How about what? Your eyebrow. I could use a needle. And I could put my ring in it. I've got a spare one at home. Your ring? Yeah. Yeah, OK. Hey, you! Councillor Busybody. What is it? Environmental health is just left. Oh, that's brilliant. And have they dealt with the problem? They reckon so. Oh, come on. Gina, have a pint for Leslie, please. Yeah, look. What's that for? For making my day, mate. It's fed up living at home, aren't you? You're not still living with your mum, are you? Yeah. Well, you need to get out, get a place of your own. Either that or uh, check up with a girl with no sense. <laughs> uh, no. I'm taking love. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm only joking. You're not my type, love. I like a bloke who could put up a fight. <laughs> Got an idea, though. Why don't you have a chat to Les? You might find you could do each other a favour. What sort of favour? Well, he's a bit <laughs> down, isn't he? And he's got a room going empty. Oh, why? Oh, don't talk to him now, eh? Another time. Cheers. I will. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes, I'm so am I. So listen, Is grab it? your stuff, oh, grab <laughs> Ben and get <laughs> home. Yeah, but you won't. Shh. Don't make me laugh. I could stab you in the eye. Well, don't. I need my eyes. Now, stop it. Are you ready? Is it going to hurt? A bit, but it won't last long. Are you ready? Yeah. Then hold very still. What are you doing? Mom! Who are you? Sarah, what are you doing? Uh, this is Aid. He's, um, a friend. We were just... Yeah, I can see what you were doing. Where's Bethany? She's upstairs. He was only gonna pierce my eyebrow. He was what? You made me bend it. You've been drinking. She's 15. And so am I. Get out. Mom! I'll talk to you later. You! Get out of my house. Oh, we were only having a laugh. I said, I'll talk to you later. When he's gone, and you've sobered up. I'd best go. Tomorrow? Yeah. Good night, Mrs Platt. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm surprised you've not ended up in a place like this. I can see you with a bay window. Still over at shop. I like it. Any aftershave on your dressing table? No. You? It was my birthday last month. Go on, have a guess how old. Oh, I couldn't. Go on. 65. 62. Oh. Anyway, it was on my birthday I decided to give up men. Not that that means much. I gave up smoking on New Year's Day. How long did you last? Fifteen seconds. I'd half a packet left. I was running them under the tap one at a time. 
I lit the third one up and that was that. People like you and me, we don't change. Me and you? I wouldn't say we were that alike. Yeah, of course we are. We're from the same mould. Maybe a long time ago. People do change. I have not. No, you've not, have you? How do you mean? I've worked hard for what I got. Whereas you just seem to drift along. And normally it involves some fella pulling your strings. <laughs> you still think you're a cut above, don't you? You don't fool me, lady. I've known you too long. You've only got that shot because Len died. That was my business. And his cash. It's all right, I'm only saying. You've been lucky. I've been lucky. You probably did me a favour not buying the Rovers. Because if you had, I'd probably still be stuck behind that bar. I thought the Rovers meant the world to you. That's before I'd seen something of the real world. Don't get me wrong, I'll always be fond of the old place. But now I can see it for what it is. It's just a tatty little backstreet pub. And you can put on all the airs and graces you like. You still only run a toffee shop. I'm not listening to any more of this. What are you doing? I'm only saying. I know, I've heard what you're only saying. If it's that tatty and grotty, why have you come back? Oh, don't tell me. It'll be some romanticised story, whereas the truth probably involves a fella and a pile of debts. I was a fool to come round here to think I might try and salvage something. Yes, I've changed, Bet, and so have you. You've turned into a hard, petty woman, and I feel sorry for you. Do us all a favour. Get lost and take that vulgar ring with you. England have made it through the group stage. See how they played against Nigeria and how the Archies got knocked out. Plus, all the highlights from the day's games. World Cup 2002, next. And following the football, we've new feature-length drama here on Carlton. Douglas Hodge stars in The Law at 9 o'clock.